Welcome to the homework for Grade 2, Module 1, Lesson 8. Write your name. We're practicing. We're still practicing taking out 10, but now we're going to do it with larger numbers. First, we'll just start out by practicing taking out 10s. That's the first thing you do when you take from 10. That's... Oops. Thirty-four. If we take out ten here. We're going to have twenty-four, right? We still have the same. The ones digit won't change, right? Because we're only taking out tens. We're not taking out any ones. So the ones digit will stay the same, but the tens digit will be one less because we're taking out one ten. So thirty-four is twenty-four. Fifty-eight is forty-eight and ten. 85 is 75 and 10. 77 is 67 and 10. And 96 is 86 and 10. Now, uh, I try to keep these videos short, and I know sometimes uh, I rush it, and maybe you won't be able to keep up with me or write everything down as fast as I do. Uh, so if I do that, please just pause the video and catch up, or you can uh, go back over the parts that you, if you want to see some parts again, and you can skip ahead as well. Now we're going to solve a practicing some more parts of 10. 9 and 1, 5 and 5, 8 and 2, 6 and 4, 7 and 3, and two, and you should just know them like that. If you have, if you still have to count up to figure them out, that's okay for now. But you really should be practicing these with, uh, with some flashcards or find some, or maybe with a, a computer or some math game. But you really got to know those just that well that you just know them. You don't have to think about them or remember them or count. You just have to just know them. And we're gonna use this use these all the time for strategies with larger numbers and the numbers are just going to get bigger and bigger throughout the year so don't wait get them you got to have it 13 minus 7 we're taking out 10 there's going to be 3 left 10 minus 7 is 3 and then we just add the 3's all right that's this 3 and that 3 are the ones we're adding 6 15, take out a 10, 10, 5. Right, we're going to subtract the 8 from the 10. We're taking from 10. So it's 10 minus 8. That's 2. And then we're going to add this 2 and that 5. That's left of the two parts. So when you do this in your head, you're going to look at this and you're going to say, oh, there's 8. So I need a 2, right, because that's the part, partner to 10. And there's the 5, so 2 and 5, that's 7. There's 2 and 5, that's 7. <clears throat> when you're in your head like that, after you practice it enough times, you can do it that way. But you also have to practice writing it down and explaining how you did it. Because that's also important in math. We have to be able to talk about the math that we do in our heads if we're going to get better. 10... Four, just like the say ten way. Subtract from the ten. Four left. Now we're going to add these fours together. Take out a ten. We have ten six. Take the nine from the ten. Ten minus nine. One left. Don't forget the six. We got to add that back in. Seven. Now numbers are getting a little bit bigger. 42 minus 7. Remember we practiced taking 10 from out of larger numbers in the beginning? Now we're going to come back. We're going to use that with the parts of 10. 42. Remember that was 10 and 32. <coughs> 
minus 7 equals 3. And now we're going to add the 32 and 3. And we're just kind of looking at this right here, the 2 and the 3. That's going to be 5. And the tens digit is going to stay the same, so it's going to be 35. It's adding the ones and then adding the tens. So 54. I have 10 and 44. 10 minus 6 is 4. Take that 4 and add the 44. 71 minus 5. We take out 10. We have 61 and 10. 10 minus 5 equals 5. And 61. Right, don't forget them. 61 plus the 5 66. 92. That's going to be 10 and 82. And then we subtract from the 10, 10 minus 9, because it's easy, because we practice our parts of 10, and you can just do it automatically. And then we have the 82 plus the 1. Now we just have A word problem. Emma has some markers. We're going to RDW this. She has 16 markers. She gave Jack some, so we don't know exactly how many she gave him, but we know that there are seven markers left. How many did she give Jack? So if she's going to have markers, she's going to give some away, and she's going to have some left. So the most she's going to have is what she starts out with, right? Because when she gives him away, she's going to have less. And she can't give away more than she starts with, more than she has, right? So she has 16 markers to begin with, right? And then some of these she gave to Jack, and some of them are left. Um, we don't know how many she gave Jack. That's the sum but we know that there are seven left, right? So, 16. If we add the seven to the 16, we're going to get a bigger number. And we can't have, she can't give Jack more than she had in the beginning. So we can't, adding is not going to work. We have to subtract this. 16 minus 7. That's here we go. 10 and 6. 10 minus 7 is 3. And now we add the 3 and the 6 together. And these are markers, right? These are how many markers she gave Jack. So Emma gave Jack. And these names are always right up here. They're in the sentences above here. So you can always, and here they are again, they're always right around there. If you need to figure out how to spell them, they're right there. So just copy them. Emma gave Jack nine what markers. There, there's the word markers right there. That's how you spell it. M 